Disney used the hype train around the Kenobi show to once more flood us with new upcoming Star Wars content. And since there have already been a ton of Star Wars projects in production, it's very hard to keep track of all of them. So for a better overview, I took the effort to put all the upcoming Star Wars shows in chronological order of their future release dates. First of all, the Andor show, which will release its first episode on August the 31st. The show will be a prequel to the Rogue One spin-off, starring Diego Luna as Cassian Andor again. The spy thriller-like show will let us experience the action-rich formation of the Rebel Alliance in 12 episodes, releasing weekly until November. A first teaser trailer has already dropped and the second season has also been confirmed to be in production. Scheduled directly thereafter, the second season of The Bad Batch will already start to release on September the 28th. The animated Clone Wars successor show will continue the story of ex-elite soldiers directly after The Clone Wars and Order 66. While the first season gave us more obsolete mission hopping and fan service, the second season is expected to dive deeper into the changing galaxy under Imperial rule. The trailer already shows us more mercenary actions with small appearances of Fennec Shand and Commander Cody. Even though there is not much known about the episode count, it is expected to settle in the direction of the first season with around 16 episodes. Also releasing in late fall, we have the new announced Tales of the Jedi animated anthology show. Anthology here means that every of the six episodes stands for its own and will tell its own story. They will heavily focus on Count Dooku's time as a Jedi before Star Wars Episode 1, as well as Ahsoka's Jedi training and time after Order 66. The long-awaited Mandalorian Season 3 is set to premiere in February and there is already a trailer which has been exclusively shown at the Star Wars Celebration Week at the end of May. Since Baby Yoda already united again with the Mandalorian in the Book of Boba Fett show, this season will more focus on the planet Mandalore with Bo-Katan Kreese taking the role of the main antagonist. So we can assume that Mando and Bo-Katan will fight over the Darksaber to become legitimate ruler of Mandalore. While the already shown teaser trailer is expected to drop to the public over the next month, a fourth season has also already been confirmed so far. Later in spring 2023, the second season of Star Wars Experimental Animated Vision Show is set to release. While the first season was only developed by Japanese anime studios, for the new upcoming episodes they engaged creators from all over the world, including California, Chile, South Africa, India, Japan, France, Ireland and the UK. Each of the studios will bring their own touch and standalone story to the Star Wars universe. Similar to the first season, it's expected that Volume 2 will feature around 8 episodes between 8 and 15 minutes long and will probably release all at once. With no explicit release time, the Ahsoka show currently started production and is expected to launch mid-2023. It will star Rosario Dawson as live-action Ahsoka during the Mandalorian timeline. In her own show, she will search for an old enemy from the animated Rebels show, Grand Admiral Thrawn. This show will also bring some animated characters to live action, as Ezra Bridger and Sabine Wren have already been confirmed. The last announced show was Skeleton Crew, which will feature Jude Law. It will be about 10 year old kids on a galaxy odyssey trying to find their way home after a big adventure. But nothing more has been revealed except it will be settled in the time after the Empire and will release after the Ahsoka show. From all the thousand Star Wars projects currently under production, these are the first new upcoming we are going to see. We also know that there is a movie release date scheduled before Christmas 2023, which could be Thor Love and Thunder director Taika Waititi's Star Wars movie, which is currently not much known about. But given the logo design and his weird direction style normally, the movie will probably be a never seen before Star Wars project.
So thank you guys for watching. Please talk to me in the comments which upcoming project you are most hyped for and also tell me what you think of this new video style.